Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. I'm your co-host Amy, coming to you from London, UK. Today, Elizabeth will be showing us how to make wild mushroom and pineapple basket. Hello, welcome. Let me show you the ingredients today. We have four tablespoons of rapeseed oil, one red onion with one crushed garlic, 50 grams of pine nuts, 50 mils of vegetable stock, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sweet chili sauce, and 175 mils of soy yogurt, and one lime sliced for garnish. Two baking potatoes wrapped in tin foil and a phyllo pastry, which will be approximately four sheets that we will use. And let me not forget our main ingredient, the oyster mushrooms. Now let's begin by frying the onion and garlic. Amy, could you please pass me the rapeseed oil? Sure, you're using cold press rapeseed oil, yeah? Yes, I'm using it for the high nutrient qualities as it maintains a good level of nutrients even after being heated at high temperatures. It's also high in omegas 3, 6 and 9. So let's fry the onion and garlic until it's nice and golden brown. There you go. And we can put it on a high flame. This will take a few minutes. I love the aroma. Mmm, smelling great. The rapeseed oil has got a lovely nutty taste to it and a lovely warm golden colour. And the red onion, it's um, not as strong as white onions. Um, it's just a lovely sweet flavour to it. So that balances with the pine nut, um, which you can now pass me. Thank sure. you. And for the viewers who enjoy eating their nuts, you'll be happy to know that nuts are high in amino acid and high in vitamin A, thiamine and rubber flavin. Okay. Did you know that the pine nuts flour is used in traditional Italian cookies? No, I did not. That's very good to know. So now we'll brown the pine nuts and let all that wholesome flavour come out looking great. That's lovely. It's almost done now. So our next ingredient will be the lovely oyster mushrooms. I love the mushroom because of its versatility and the health benefits such as reducing the cholesterol and having attributes of anti-cancer properties. It's high in vitamins, proteins, iron and potassium. Amy, did you know that the ancient Egyptians used to eat them in the hope of gaining immortality? No, I didn't. That's very interesting. And it's also good for the immune system as well, isn't that right? Yes, and Chinese medicine, they use it for muscle relaxation and overall joint health. You don't need to stir it too much as the mushrooms will disintegrate. Mm -hmm. So now we'll let it simmer for five minutes while we go out and pick some berries in the garden. We will now prepare the phyllo pastry. We will begin by laying the pastry flat out and brushing the surface with oil. Take one sheet very, very gently and we will dip the brush in some oil and brush it nicely, covering the whole sheet. This is so that it can get nice and golden brown in the oven.
covering all the corners and making sure that the middle is done. You can pretend that you're painting a picture. <laughs> Very artistic. Now for the next sheet that will be placed directly on the first one. Lifting it gently. There we go. Thank you. Do the same movements again. You will notice that a little bit of the oil seeps through to the top sheet, which helps. Great, now we will cut it right in the middle to make two even squares. Gently. Filo pastry is used quite a lot in Mediterranean cooking, like baklava and spanakopita. Now place it in a diamond shape. Now we will brush some oil onto the potato to prevent the pastry from sticking to the surface. Now gently lift the pastry and place it over the potato. You can lift some of the corners up, which will create a pretty effect on the pastry. Now we're going to place the potato and phyllo pastry in the oven until golden brown. It will take approximately 10 minutes. Thank you, Amy. In it goes. And of course, you can repeat that process. You can make two or three. You can use up all your phyllo pastry and it should be done in a few minutes. So now we are going to season the mushrooms. Can you pass me the vegetable stock, please, Amy? Thank sure. you. Just stir that in nicely. Could I have the soya sauce now, please? Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now I will stir in the yogurt. I will also save some for the garnish. There we go. 75 millilitres of yogurt will be added to the sauce and of course the sweet chilli sauce. Thank you. There we go. All these flavours combine so well with the mushrooms and the pine nut. Mm. Tastes amazing. I can smell Thank it. You. So we'll let the mushrooms simmer for a while while we wait for the phyllo basket which is in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. These are the phyllo baskets ready to be filled. So we'll turn it off from simmer. Okay. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh yes. So now we'll Place the mushroom and pine nuts into the baskets. See the mushrooms have retained quite a lot of their shape, which is lovely to look at. And the one good thing about them, they retained the heat, didn't they? 80% to 90% of its nutrition. Yes, that is true. So they're very healthy. Now we'll place some yogurt, soya yogurt, into the basket to garnish. Could you pass me the sweet chilli sauce, please? Thank you. Thanks. And the lime for decoration. Thank you. There we go, filling that. And some yogurt again. Thank you. And the sweet chilli sauce. And here is our final dish, wild mushroom and pine nut phyllo basket. Please try some, Amy. Sure. The 
It's really wonderful. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. Bye. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.